Yeah, recent Christian thought on eschatology has sought to refocus us on the earthly and the material, believing that this is essential to both affirming the goodness of this world as well as addressing the suffering and the inequities and the injustices of this life. And there's much that's wonderful from all of those uh, sort of affirmations of, of recent eschatology, but I, I do think that oftentimes that's failed to be a productive reform and instead it's gone somewhat parasitic where we either ignore or worse mock classic Christian eschatology, the theology of the martyrs, of those who've suffered greatly, not only in a, a difficult world, but for the sake of Christ. And I, I think we can affirm the goodness of creation of the resurrection of the body without missing the fact that at the center of our hope is not only the idea that God fixes things, but that ultimately God himself is our hope, our joy. Uh, he is the beauty, the truth, and the goodness that we are to long for. And so I, I hope in a certain sense that the book reorders our thinking about hope and retools the kind of breadth and the kind of priorities uh, for which we aspire and long and, and pray unto.